Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 30th of April 2019. And we have a number of very interesting news. We start off with Scotland. I've had the lag distillery in the news a few times. That's the kind of the extension from the Aran distillery and this uh, distillery that is built on the south side of Aran and is meant to produce highly peated malt whiskey. And that's exactly what the distillery did for the first time. They produced their 50 ppm malt whiskey and already put it into their first barrel. Unfortunately, the distillery is not open yet, um, but it is said to open early this summer. So we, we don't have to wait very long and the distillery will soon be opened. But it's good to know that they're already producing whiskey so they can ramp up production. So yeah, we will hear probably the next news in three to five years for their first whiskey. Then we have Balvini in the news because they released a new whiskey, the Balvini Dark Barley, 26 years old. Uh, it's made of brittle barley and is a very, very darkly roasted barley as usually used for producing dark, strong beer. And I've not tried it yet, but it is said that the new 26 year old dark barley is have very deep flavors, smoky flavors, oaky flavors. Mm, yeah, so in that direction with 47.08% ABV, it's going to be yeah, a really intense whiskey. Then we have another following whiskey. This here is the Ben Romach 100 proof and it's going to be discontinued. And the uh, replacement bottle will be a 10 year old single malt. Yes, an age statement. Do they have an age statement on here? Yes, so it's going to be an age statement again, but they're going to increase the um, the ABV by 0.9% points. So um, it's going to go from uh, 100 proof, that's 57% to 57.9%. Um, it's going to be still going to be first fill sherry and bourbon casks, and it's going to be limited in small batches. And um, yeah, it's probably going to be readily available during the next week. Then we go over the big pond to the Americans. We have a change in personnel at the Mictus distillery, but it's not a change in personnel with a lot of yeah turmoil or something like that. It's just Dan McKee is going to replace uh, Pamela Heilman um, in the position of master distiller. And that's not such a big deal because Dan McKee uh, used to work for Mictors a long time already. And he's very used to the, the processes and he is highly worked in. And Pamela Heilman is also going to be working part time and he, she's going to support Dan McKee, the new master distiller. So it's more of a switch in names only because he probably worked himself into that position already. So we are probably not going to have big changes in the distillation process of Mictors because of that. But they already announced that on 1st of May, they're going to release their first 10 year old uh, single barrel Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And last but not least, we have a good news from Jim Beam. Jim Beam um, worked together with the um, University of Kentucky and they gave them five million dollars and the University of Kentucky um, created a new institute. It's going to be the James B. Beam Institute for Kentucky Spirits. And this institute is going to teach young uh, professionals how to make good um, whiskey or good spirits in general. And that is very important because we have a lot of startup culture and we want to have a good quality there for the brand of whiskey and for the brand of bourbon so that everybody in the world starts to love this whiskey because it's such a high quality. Very, very interesting and important program that Jim Beam financed there. So thank you very much for watching and see you next week.